The OpenAI coup has failed. So what happened and what happens next? Here's where things stand today. After the board ousted Sam Altman, the CEO, they weirdly never really backed up the claims that he lied. This led to threats of mass exodus to Microsoft, which was totally down for that, but Altman used the leverage to get reinstated. The result is a company that is solidly behind a CEO, but there will be some changes. They probably can't do away with the whole nonprofit governance thing, but they can stack the board with friendly faces. So instead of an AGI-obsessed chief scientist and a policy researcher who publicly challenged OpenAI's safety strategy, now you have the former co-CEO of Salesforce and a Clinton-era economy wonk. You could say it's a bit of a vibe shift. The board is still being put together, but it's clear that OpenAI is completing its metamorphosis from research organization to traditional tech giant. That means more commercialization, more speed, and now that the AI safety faction has been shown the door, a little less worrying about those pesky ethical and alignment problems. Now this could be a big deal. OpenAI is at the forefront of AI research, and there is a huge potential for harm if they don't have the right people telling them how far is too far. Altman is going to be focusing on income and growth at a time when there is no meaningful AI regulations and people still don't really know how the technology works. And it's not about Skynet or the Matrix. There are already lots of ways that AI tools are being overused, misused, and abused. The new OpenAI is probably going to say that the answer to all these problems is better AI. And that also happens to be the answer that makes them the most money. Funny how that works, isn't it?